Welcome to the second episode in this series of rod building. So in this episode we are attaching the cork grip, the reel seat, the fighting butt. We are also uh, spining the rod and also marking the guide spacing. So now it's time to head into the movie and see you in a bit. Okay, so now it's time to spine your rod. Uh, to find the spine of your rod, it's quite easy. But first, we should just clean our blanks with the alcohol. So this is the first step. Clean your blanks with alcohol. So I'm doing that. So when you have cleaned your rod with alcohol, uh, now it's time to find the spine. So I will just spine the top two sections. The two bottom sections, it's too stiff to spine. So I just take the top two. So to find the spine, you place it in 45 degrees on the table or something and you roll it easily over and see where it stops and there you have your spine so here is here is my spine so I can't go further it's uh, it's hard to get it forward so there is a spine I take a marking pen and mark where the spine is. So now I have and mark it on different places on the rod so you know you have a straight line. There is your spine on your rod. And you do the same for the other section. So uh, let's uh, take the next step to placing out the guides. So bring something to measure with. So now it's time to find out where to put the, the guides for this rod. So uh, head over to the Epic uh, website. There you can find the space guiding for your uh, specific rod. Um, and we start uh, marking our where to put the guides. So uh, you can uh, place it on the floor if you think that's easier. I use the table now just to show you, but I usually use uh, the floor to, to mark out the guide spacing because you, you need, need it to be long. Okay, so let's start. Now it's time to put the real seat together. So just follow my steps uh, uh, because it's uh, now you have these parts should fit together so you get the real seat. You also have, uh, you need uh, now the epoxy uh, so you have to do that. But just follow my steps and it should be fine. This is how the real seat looks like when it has dried. So uh, now it's fit together and now it's time to fit everything together to start working on uh, glue in the grip and uh, the real seat and everything. So 
we take the lowest part of the rod. Oh, also, I have this is a six rod, so I'm using a fighting butt. So, the fighting butt and also a trim ring for that, and after that, the reel seat and the cork. So, I fit the trim ring in first and then the fighting butt. Then I will take the real seat and after that the grip. So I push it down on the table like this and then I mark a mark on end of the cork on the blank. So now this is a mark for uh, the lower part I will uh, use sandpaper on. On the upper part you should not sandpaper at all. It's, it's a no-no. So now you can take this away again. Now I have a mark over here. So now I can use some masking tape so you don't sandpaper over that part. So I use a little bit of masking tape like that. Voila. And then I use some sandpaper over that. I'll show you. So the next step is to put everything together once again and mark every component. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll show you. So I mark the fighting butt. I can mark the trim also. And then I also the real seat is very important to get it right. So you have it so like that. You mark that also. So you know where to do the next step. Okay, so now you have marked your rod, so you can fit uh, the fighting butt, uh, the reel seat, and also the core grip. So now we will use the masking tape for the reel seat. So as you can see now, uh, so you have to uh, tighten it up. Yeah. So then you you have the mark here for the fighting butt and also the, the, the trim ring here. So the trim ring stops here and one centimeter over that you start to with the masking tape. So around there I think. And then you build it up. I will, I will show you so you get the feeling for it. So. Um, and then you have marked the end of the real seat and then I also will use my the masking tape and do a new one. Okay, so and now I also want to have one in the middle. Like this. I think you get it. Um, I have to in a straight line also. Uh, okay. But I will do this now when you just watch me uh, doing this. So you will understand 
why you're doing this. Okay, now you can see here we have now you can fit the rear seat like that. So now the rod looks like this and uh, now it's epoxy time. So we are mixing this half of this and half of this. Now, when you have glued the, the fighting butt, the reel seat and the grip, you can also use that um, glue for the winding check. So this little fellow over here is, should be sitting here. So take just the spatel and a little small amount of glue. And then you put the whole thing on the dry for at least two hours. <laughs> 